Well, this one's quite a doozy, guys. Looks like the next Twisted Metal game is being developed by a completely different studio now, and they're switching developers. Originally, the game was being developed by Lucid Studios, which is the same studio that made Destruction All-Stars, which was supposed to be a launch title for the PlayStation 5. Then it came out in February, and I believe it was on PS Plus. Originally, it was going to cost $70, but the game was such doo-doo. And it, it didn't even last a month, and it was just a horrible game all across the board. That I think Sony decided to be like, okay, yeah, let's not let that developer make any kind of games ever again, because it was just a horrible job. And they gave it to a first-party studio. Which first-party studio they gave it to, I have no idea, but this is a rumor from VGC, or VideoGameChronicle.com, so it's pretty interesting. But uh, yeah, that's kind of what's happening with the next Mel, uh, Twisted Mel game. I wanted to say Mel Gear Solid, I don't know why. But yeah, with that being said, guys, let me know what you think in the comments below. And we're moving on to the next thing. Do you guys remember that crazy Quantic Dream tech demo back in the... I think it was the PS4 days. They had the old guy. It was like in a medieval setting. He looked like a goblin, I guess, and or a wizard or something like that. And uh, he had a really big, massive nose. Well, you guys can see it right here on the screen. So, yeah, apparently they're making a new game based on that universe. So, it looks like a tech demo is becoming a reality now. And, of course, taking advantage of the PS5. This came from a person called Account NGT from a Twitter individual who also leaked Star Wars Eclipse prior to the announcement of that game at Video Game Awards 2021. So, this is a credible leak, I guess you could say. But, again, a leak is a leak. A rumor is a rumor, so I'll take it with a grain of salt. Very interesting stuff. But apparently they're also having troubles hiring for that game as well due to their, um, you know, they don't have our, the best reputation, let's just say that. But with that being said, guys, let me know what you think, and we're going to move on to the next thing. Looks like Techland is confusing the hell out of people with how long it's going to take to complete Dying Light 2. According to them, it's going to take 500 hours to complete the game. And people are like, what does that mean? This came from a tweet, official tweet that is, not a rumor or anything like that. And they later clarified what this actually means. To max out the game, meaning getting all the endings, every single side quest, and explore every part of the world, yes, it will take you 500 hours. If you're just doing the main storyline and some side quests and a little bit of exploration, it will take you roughly 100 hours. That is what they said, and they updated it. I don't know, man. 500 hours sounds like a lot. I wonder if that's going to include the Platinum Trophy or all the achievements. I guess it would. If you want to get the achievements, you better spend 500 hours in the zombie world. I mean, I'm cool with that, I guess, if the game is really good and not super grindy, but we have to see how it is, you know? But with that being said, guys, at least we have a clarification. Thank you so much for checking out this daily news bit. Make sure to like and subscribe, and I will see you soon.